Hello everyone, this is Chadlack1, and this is going to be a prelude to a new tutorial I'm creating is the C++ 2D tutorial. The reason being I'm doing a 2D tutorial in C++ is to give more of a background on what I'm going to be explaining in more of an engineering standpoint than a, you know, just here's how you do it, here you go standpoint. I'm trying to build this kind of tutorial into more of a large scale perspective. So what I'm going to be creating here is kind of a Mario clone, essentially. It's just simply like collect coins, be able to get new lives, jump on a new thing there with the question mark box, be able to teleport, and then be able to up port here. And that's it so far. But we're going to be doing a lot more upscale than that and with more of a discover how we're going to construct this. Now I'm going to show you guys the basic structure on how we're going to build our parent and child classes here real quick. The first example I have here is the... Um, the character parent to child inheritance here. So essentially we're going to be using the, the Unreal Paper character because it has the movement components, it has the sprite component built into it, and also the ability to be possessed by a player controller or any sort of controller in general. Then we're going to be extending that into a base character. The base character is going to have a little bit more finite detail like the health, the particular movement placements, etc., etc., stuff like that. Kind of like, you know, building on forth, we could also use base character to for what all, like if an enemy or a player has anything in common, like they both have health, they both have like collisions, etc., etc. So then we branch out into two different child classes. There's an enemy class, which of course is going to be, you know, it's going to contain like path nodes or particular um, AI trees in any particular stature that we'll use from that. And of course the player character is who we control in the scene. And then of course like we go and extend from enemy, we go to Goomba, and we extend from the enemy to something else, etc, etc. And that's how we build our basic character structure. Next thing we're going to talk about is the item and child classes from item. Item is going to have essentially a one function call, essentially called like use or interact. So then like every time we call for an item class that we say, for example, bump into, because every single item we have here, we're bumping into that particular item with a collision. We're going to call a method that's going to be a virtual method that we could override to do something else, which is the way I constructed here what you see in front of you. So obviously a coin, is going to have like a Yoshi coin or specific or a blue coin specific like it does in Super Mario. And a power up, you're going to have a base power up class. The reason why I separated those because in Super Mario World example as well, there's always like a part of the container chilling on top. And we want to be able to store that in the container so we could drop down that particular part. And then we have the extension from that, which is Fire Flower or Mushroom, which they all have the parent class of power up. And consumable, consumable is something. I thought of because if we're going to interact with this consumable, it's going to have X amount of seconds or time that the consumable is going to be usable, or if we're just going to use that consumable at that moment in time. It's like, say, for example, like the star. When we use a star, you only have like, what, like 10 seconds of the star effect when you just are completely invulnerable and destroy everything in its path. And then the inflate, when you inflate things up in the air by yourself when you're trying to get to a different area, that sort of thing. And that's it so far. We'll go into more detail down the line in the tutorial series. But I just want to have you guys understand from an engineering perspective of how we're going to build this together. I don't want to have you guys be led on to be saying, like, we're going to build this thing and then call it good. I want to build this from a way you could reuse this into your further projects. It would make more sense. This would be more of a platformer one. But at the same time, it'll give you more of an understanding of how we could build things from the ground up together. Stay tuned for the next video, and feel free to follow me on Twitter or anywhere else. If you want to subscribe, sure. Go right ahead, and we'll continue on. See you guys later.